Hello and welcome to the Big 12 Championship Game Betting Picks video for Lamps.com. I'm your host, Matthew Mutt, here with my co-host, Jacob Wayne. We got Baylor, we have Oklahoma State. I'm not sure how many people predicted this to be the Big 12 Championship Game, but here we are. Two teams that I think have performed really well this season. I mean, honestly, Oklahoma State really deserves that number five ranking. I would not be shocked if some things go their way and they end up in the playoffs, but the same thing for with Baylor. If they win this game, things go their way. They could end up in the college playoffs as well. Um, these are two teams that have just been playing so well towards the end of the season. They have already played each other. The final score is 24-14 in that one going to Oklahoma State. Um, but right now, the spread is at five and a half. Jacob is going with Baylor, and uh, I'll let you explain why that is. Yeah, so the first one of these teams played, it was really close throughout. Um, Oklahoma State did have that 14 nothing halftime lead, but Baylor's offense has kind of progressed really nicely since then. And I think they should have potentially covered in the last game this spread. Um, Oklahoma State had that late touchdown that really helped them pull ahead. Uh, but I just think this is a lower-scoring, defensive-oriented game. Uh, you can tell by that lower over-under. But like we talked about um, – I just think it's going to be difficult to win by a touchdown in this game with like a low over under run heavy game, slow pace of play, all those factors. Yeah, I don't, the, the spreads, honestly, it's funny enough. I talked about the Pac-12 game with Anthony. If you haven't checked out that video and uh, the game hasn't been played yet, you can go ahead and do that. But that spread was only two and a half. I think Utah has a much better chance of blowing out Oregon than Oklahoma State has of blowing out Baylor, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma State could cover, but if they cover, I'm thinking it's six, seven points. It's not like, oh, they won by 20, they won by 14. This game is going to be a one-score game when it's all said and done, and there's not going to be a ton of points on the board. You're talking about the number two ranked efficiency-wise defense in college football at Oklahoma State, a top 30 defense in Baylor. Both these offenses are just, a f I mean, they've just been moving the football. Every time you watch their game, it seems like they crank out the first downs. They drive the ball down the field. Not a ton of turnovers. Um, this is just going to be a really well-played and really well-coached matchup, in my opinion. Meaning that's going to come down to the end. Probably a field goal. Maybe even OT. And if that's what happens, I don't think Oklahoma State's covering this one. Yeah, just quickly on Oklahoma State's defense. Uh, there's like a defensive FEI rating, which is like an efficiency metric. Um that measures like per possession uh, scoring defensively. And Oklahoma State is only behind Georgia in that metric. And they're a lot closer to, they're a lot closer to Georgia than m most other teams are. Um, but yeah, their defense has really been surprising. Uh, and even like against Oklahoma, I think people still underrated it. And they really kind of shut down Oklahoma's offense at the end of that game. But Malcolm Rodriguez, All-American candidate, a linebacker, uh, tons of talent across the board there. So really excited to see this defense play. And yeah, like you said, I think if they can pull out this game, they have a really strong chance to make the playoff. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I think it's really, it's that front seven for Oklahoma State that's fantastic against Baylor, who on the season, I believe, is averaging five and a half yards a carry, probably more over the last few games. Who wins out in that matchup? I mean, it might go 50-50. And in that case, can... Baylor's air attack really pull through and put up 17, 20 points, which I, I feel is going to be needed to win this game. I think Baylor's defense matches up well against Oklahoma State. I still I still think Oklahoma State puts up three touchdowns, maybe a field goal on top of that. Um, yeah. But when all is said and done, the plus five and a half, I think, is the better value out of these two bets. I personally, the more I think about it, I, I'm willing to buy up to plus seven at minus 140 for Baylor. That point and a half, I think, is going to make a massive difference. Um, in a game where there's not a lot of scoring, you can see uh, less weird stuff happens, basically. It might just be touchdown, 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 where all of a sudden Oklahoma State is up by seven at the end of the game. Um, and then you get a push. I mean, you could go to seven and a half at minus 155. That's what you fancy. All in all, um, it's a tough game. I think you can tell by the way we're talking about it. We're very wishy-washy. We, we're yeah. not exactly sure how it's going to go. Um, do you think there's a value to Baylor at plus 180? We just kind of both explained we expect Oklahoma State to win, but if you can get it up to plus 200, you're getting two to one odds on Baylor winning this one, which I don't think is that far of a stretch. Yeah, I don't think it's that outlandish. Um, it would require a couple of turnovers or kind of fluky things to go their way, which I mean, definitely could happen. But 
I think two to one value on that is nice. Um, but honestly, like my best bet here would be if you could buy up to 48 points on the over under, but the under there and then put Oklahoma state at two and a half, three. Um, I think that might be the best way to go. Yeah. You drop a little teaser. You could get it up to 52 and Oklahoma state plus one and a half. Um, I'm, let's see if we can do that here. Just really quick teaser. With six points, would you take that minus 120? So you get Oklahoma State plus half point and under 52. Yeah, I love that value. Yeah, minus 120 for that seems pretty solid. I can't imagine this game getting up to 52. That's a really solid line because um, I think that gives Oklahoma State the opportunity to score 28 points and you're still probably not hitting the over. Yeah. Um, and that, that's just so much leeway with Oklahoma State's defense. So maybe this is the best bet. You know, we don't often talk single game teasers on here but i i like this single game teaser i i feel so uncomfy with each one of these lines i'm like you know what let's give ourselves six points let's take the lesser or uh the shorter odds that is and go with this uh any yeah. last closing thoughts jacob no i just think this is gonna be an exciting game i think both teams have a chance to play their way into the playoff um which would have been crazy to say even a few honestly even a few weeks ago i don't think many people were talking about these teams for the playoff but if Alabama loses to Georgia, then that fourth spot is wide open and either one of these teams can grab it. Yeah. And I know you're a Michigan fan. I don't want to curse or anything, but you have Michigan. They have a, a decently tough game, even though I think they take care of business. Cincinnati, I, I like them, but I, I think there's a chance Houston can win that game. Like, there's a lot that could happen this weekend, and it's going to be really exciting to watch. Yeah. Um, and both these teams, I'm sure, believe they have – an opportunity Baylor small one but they have an opportunity to make the playoffs yeah I agree all right so that's gonna wrap it up for us you can always click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when our videos go up if you like this one give it a like if you disliked it a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets from this big 12 championship game we'll see you for the next one very soon